little whole wheat bread after. So what I usually do after we cut our fabric is I, this is one step we kind of skipped already, but um, let's kind of show you. Just because how flimsy the fabric is, I sometimes sew on paper to help stabilize fabric. So just real sloppy like, just on the edges, because we're going to cut it off after we're done beating. And then I'll show you how to do a knot on the fabric. So this part right here. So this is an important knot to learn. So what I do is I'm holding the needle with one hand and I'm holding the end with this hand and I make it as straight as possible. You go around and then up and I'll hang on to the needle that way. It makes a letter Y. You can see the letter Y there right at the right at the it, the letter y has to be against the fabric oops it's moving on us put your finger on the letter y put it on this side and you pull then it's, the knot is right against to make sure your knot doesn't bust out we do it two times sorry i should have went slower for that one there oops Pull, pull, pull. So that, that's good. Now we start our beading. We would have already had uh, created our. Um, I want to steal your, your. Um, can I steal this? This one here. So your pattern, right there. So your your colors. So my colors are going to be. I'll say blue, pink, and yellow. So I'm going to start beading. I have two beading needles here. One's a dolphin and one's for beading. The, the line that has a knot at the end with two lines is for beading. So what we're going to do from the back, about a centimeter in, in the middle, middle we're going to start line one. And I know it's going to be, the colors I'm choosing are two blue, two pink, two yellow, and then I need to copy that, two pink, and two blue. And notice how low my, my needle is to the beads, um, and I'm just like kind of plucking them. Put all the beads down against the fabric. Make them straight. Oops, where the last bead is relaxing. Um, go straight down and through. And you pull, 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 pull. You put that needle down, pick up your other line, make sure it has a knot on it. Then you're gonna come up and over every second bead. Up, that's the part you're at, up and over every second bead. Up, oh, I didn't, huh? Sure. I gotta put a knot on. So I guess this is how you put a knot. I don't like that finger though. <laughs> I don't know why the hand sanitizer makes my hands go yellow when I come to school. Maybe because it's mixing hand sanitizer. So roll it off. And then it's a little tiny knot. Do it two times. You make a nice, nice knot. There we go. See, nice ugly knot from behind there. I always hold this thread away, and then you come from behind. You come as close as you can to the bead line. You go up, come up, and over the line to tack down your beads. Now you do that for every second bead, and this is called applique beading. Um, there are skills competitions I take beaders to, and doing these little um, projects here, 
are kind of like my tryouts. So those of you who get good practice beading can potentially be on the bead team. Prevent, um, provincials. All, all competitions got canceled this year, which is sad. But they are providing kits for take home beading. I'm, not, I'm gonna order about 10 of them for people who are interested in beading at home. So line one is done. Now we're gonna do line two. Line two, we pick up our bead line again from behind. Sometimes our, our threads get all mixed up. Just gotta figure out the, the, the one with two threads. You're gonna come up beside, close to where you left off. And we, I, we know, cause we're making a diamond, we need two blue, two pink, two blue. Diamonds are the easiest thing to bead because of the, and what's the math term? Symmetry? No. Yeah, that's symmetry, yeah. When there's a repeating pattern. There you go. We drop that one, pick up our dolphin. And I just unthreaded that somehow. So when you're threading a needle, you poke the needle in the eye and you push it through. Again, we're dolphining the line. Every two beads, as close as you can, up and over. Up and over, as close as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Keep in mind, your very first project may not look as stellar as you imagine. It takes practice to get super good. And okay, last line, line three, you put two beads, one, two only. You don't have to dolphin it because there's only two beads there. And then you just kind of guesstimate where to put it. So you pull it through, pull, pull, pull. Half the diamond is done. You go to line four, which uh, we'll start on this side again. Two blue, two pink, two blue. One, two, three, four. Oops. Uh, two blue. Put all the beads against the fabric. Let it relax where they end. Push through. Pull, pull, pull. Take your bead, your uh, dolphin again. Come up and over every second bead. Up and over. And you gotta make sure to hold the top part so your your, your needle doesn't um, fall off. Because remember, it's single threaded. It the, Your needle will come off if you just pull the needle. You need to pull the line too. Up and over. Now the last part before we close it is two beads two blue and then we knot it in the back we used to joke around and say some kids are like i cannot knot yes you can yes you can knot knot <laughs> okay two blue one two Okay, now we're gonna knot it. So again, we make our pull go round and up, make a letter Y. Um, you can kind of not see it, but you can kind of see it. Use your thumb, pull. Do it two times so your beads don't fall off. One, two, Y. Cut that off so you don't forget which one you just made a line on. Put that aside. And then, we got to put a line on our, this part. Oops, the needle fell off. You can still do it without the needle. There. Knot. Knot. 
sides. Put that on. Now for this paper, the stuff we, we sewed on at the beginning, we're gonna cut that off now. We don't need it anymore because we're not beading anymore. So we just pull that all off. We're just pulling off the thread. You can keep the paper on there because it looks nice. Now to close it, the next step when you're done beading both sides is you're going to close it inside out. So we we'll close it inside out. We'll take the double thread. Which one's the double thread? That's not that one. Make sure we have a knot at the end. And then it's kind of like making a finger puppet, I guess. Oh. Knots and me are just not getting along today. Okay, here we go. We've got a nice knot. Pretty good, good. Close it inside out. Paper is fine where it is. And we're just going to loop it closed. So, I'll just kind of do this whole part before the fur, and then we'll get you guys working, okay? So, I'm doing this real quickly. You guys don't have to work this fast. Just fold that back to get off the way. Yeah, we're just stitching it shut. Sometimes the thread just wants to like knot up and it gets annoying. Po, po, po. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. All the way to the end here. We don't sew it shut, we just sew it to the end. To the end where my thumb is. I'll do bigger ones just so that we have a demonstration of how to do this. You guys will sew it closer though. Okay, we're at the end. Again, we take our, we make another knot right there. So the letter Y, put a finger on it, done. Make two so it doesn't come off. And then on your bead side, what you wanna do is cut from the middle to the middle okay we're making like the capital T see you can see the letter T there now the letter T now this part is kind of tricky so you want to take both ends of your letter T hold them together like that see that and then this bottom corner here, you're gonna cut out a tiny little square. Right there. Now, we're going to sew that shut, this part. I'll start at the top here. I didn't cut off my thread. You can, but I'm just saving a step. Pull and sew it shut. We're doing the heel part of your little mini moccasin which are soon to be a mukluk when we add fur. Now when we get to the end here, this is the end. We're going to open up the shoe from this part and it'll open it up the bottom. And then the, we're making the letter T again. And then we're gonna close that shut. We make our knot again, make a tree. I say this is a tree, this your needle's a bird, your bird flies around the tree and up the branch, makes a letter Y, hold it, pull. Tree, round, bird, branch, done. So believe it or not, one side is ready for fur. I'll just trim this off now. 
And then the magic moment of I'm just rough with this. We flip it inside out. Because we stitched it so well, you can be um, pretty rough and then it won't pop open on the sides. Isn't that cute? There, and then we'll really put, nice. yeah. And then we'll put in some um, cotton to like puff it up and then we're gonna add some fur to make it a mini muffler now. All right, so let's pause it and then the next video